What up, nerds? Welcome back. Nate in the Wild here. It is so good to see you all again. I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a while. This has been the busiest summer of my life, but that is a very nice change from last summer where I basically lounged around in my underwear eating Cheetos for six months straight. Uh, it's been good to get back out. Anyhow, on this channel, we've talked about cameras and photo techniques quite a few times actually, and hopefully by now, you've gone out on a couple hikes, you've got a beautiful photo or two in your catalog, and you're ready to start printing. I get a ton of questions about printing because it is extremely overwhelming, and I wanna talk through some of those options right here to help everyone get off on the right foot. Now, there's a lot of different printing surfaces from regular photo paper to museum archival paper, which is its own category in itself, canvas, acrylic, metal, very overwhelming. We're just gonna focus on metal prints today. By far, my favorite surface is metal. Uh, no exaggeration, every single print in my house is on metal. It is the only surface I print on because I genuinely love it that much. Um, the cool thing is, all five of these prints in front of me are printed on metal, but with different surface finishes. This is from Bay Photo. You might be familiar with them. They actually sell a metal sample pack where you can get five photos printed with all different finishes so you can see which one looks best in whatever room. They have given me a 50% off discount code that I am able to share with you. That's in the description below. So if you have a photo that you're thinking about printing and you're a little nervous about spending you know, $400 on a big, beautiful print because you don't know how it'll look, this is an awesome way to go. Click that link, get half off your order. Um, this is very affordable and it's a great way to find out that you might have made a huge mistake or confirm your suspicions that you're on the right track. So starting off, we got the high gloss. As you can see, it is vibrant, it's crisp, it's beautiful, um, but it is very glossy, as the name would tell you, which means that with any light source, here, let me point it towards my light, look at that, it just basically like disappears, right? A um, lot of reflection. It's my favorite surface in terms of the vividness of the colors and the crispness of the details, but lots of reflection. So if you're putting this on a wall opposite a window, might not be your best choice. Moving from there down, mid-gloss, same thing. Beautiful colors, super sharp, crisp. Um, a little less reflection here, I'll point it at the light there. Oh yes, yeah, so you can see, let's compare those side by side now. So you can see both of them pointed at my light. Look at that. You can see that one's a little less reflecty than the other. It sort of softens it up a little bit, but the, uh, the colors on them are, are both beautiful. Again, this is the high gloss, this is the mid-gloss. Moving from there, satin. So this looks a little bit more like a um, like a matte print. Not quite matte, it's not that low. It's got a little bit more shine to that. This is probably my preferred surface for a lot of printing. It is beautiful. You can see that um, compared to the high gloss, the photo looks pretty much the same. Now my light is over here, so like this one probably looks a little bit darker just because it's further away from the light source. Uh, let me hold them up over each other so you can see they print looking about the same, but look at that. When I turn it towards the light source, the high gloss basically disappears and the satin still retains a lot of its uh, details and color. Pretty dang cool. That's an awesome option to have. Now the other two down here are kind of a new surface. Well, new to me. I think Bay Photo's probably been printing like this for a long time, but I actually have very little experience with it. Uh, it's called Sheer, so this is the Sheer Gloss, and it's it's pretty dang cool, I think. So these top three, the first three that I showed you, uh, they have their bare aluminum, and then they put a white coating on there to give it, you know, basically the same printing surface as you'd get with like paper, and then they print your image on top of that. So it looks exactly like a true-to-life representation of how you would expect a photo print to look. The Sheer print is directly on bare aluminum. So the darks look kind of shimmery and metallic and the sky, like the highlights here are silvery and crisp. It's really, really cool. Um, you can see that it has just this really nice depth. It almost looks holographic. I think certain images will probably play better on this than others. I wouldn't print a portrait maybe on sheer because I think the silveriness might look weird on skin tones. But conversely, the Northern Lights on Sheer is beautiful. Uh, any astrophoto, it gives us this incredible deep 
tone to the stars, like almost three-dimensional. Um, again, this is the high gloss on the shear. You can see what I pointed at the light there. Um, we get some weird shimmers there. This is the sheer satin. So same thing as before. This is printed directly on the bare aluminum, but with a satin finish so that when it goes towards a light source, you retain all of that detail. But again, you know, side by side to the casual observer, they're gonna look pretty much the same as long as they're not reflecting light. So that's pretty cool. I mean, you'll see a big difference in the amount of gloss that they have, but not much beyond that. So there you have it. There are your five aluminum printing surfaces. Basically, if you don't have a ton of windows in your room, you kind of just need to choose if you want sheer or not sheer, and then how much gloss you want on there. If you do have windows, then you might need to start thinking about a mid-gloss or a satin. Honestly, Bay Photo will take care of you. And again, they have a 50% off coupon that they gave me. I will share it in the description below. Please click on that, order your metal sample pack, see what you like most because we all know it's a big investment when you wanna start printing your own work for your house. It's super exciting. You wanna make sure that you can get it right. As always, I'm Nate in the Wild. Thank you so much. Please drop any other printing questions you have in the comments below. I will respond to all of them. Thank you so much. I'll see you later.